just flat out don't understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Chief? Uh, Chief, could you expand on a couple of those issues, please? Sure. Uh, the, the wording in the stage two, we are trying not to make it so long a document that no one will look at it. We're trying to get the information in, and we're trying to make it so that people can understand that we will definitely look at that and see if we can address it in a way that doesn't make it so lengthy that people will just gloss it over. So we will address that. My, and I'm going by a very poor memory here, does it not state something about if it does not have spark arresters on, on the engines? Yes, there's there's a spark arrestor part on there, uh, and in stage two, after 11 a.m., uh, that's where it says you can't run an internal combustion engine. So, I worked in the in the log woods when I was right out of high school. It's what we always called hoot out. We'd go to work at 3 o'clock in the morning and work up till uh, 10, 30, or 11 o'clock. But then you have to maintain the site where you have worked for three hours after that. This is the, the forest regulation in stage two to make sure that there was no, no ember that was going to start a fire. So. Okay, it, and I appreciate the, the question because it does get confusing out there. And uh, we have people clearing trees up in the Nutrioso Alpine area. Uh, working with chainsaws and so forth, and people get confused about about those issues uh, when the restrictions come out. So the more detail, the, the better. And I would ask uh, that you might come back at each board meeting and do a little update on fire situations. Hopefully there's nothing going on. Uh, I'm sure if there's something serious, you'll be here anyway. But uh, the people, are obviously, that live up in this area are very concerned. So thank you. Absolutely, and I will make sure that we have an update. Especially when we're in a spring fire situation, we have an update for you. <coughs> Thank you, Jake. Thank you. Okay, with that, uh, let's move on to item two, consent items. Mr. Wonder. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, item number two is the consent agenda. We have items A through E, and we would recommend approval. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Weller. Yeah, I would request that we pull item B as in boy and E as an echo from the consent agenda for discussion. Okay, good enough. Is there a motion to approve the consent items A, C, and D? I'll move to approve uh, consent agenda items A, C, and D. Is there a second to that? Second. Second. Okay. Any questions or comments on those? If not, all in favor say aye. <coughs> Aye. Aye. Uh, Mr. Sherlin? Yeah, aye. Okay. <coughs> Oppose? The ayes have it. Three in favor? None opposed. Thank you. Now, let's go with item B. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Weller. Yeah, um, I just wanted to explain my uh, abstention vote on this item there. I have some questions about a few items that I have not had the opportunity to review with finance or uh, staff, and so I'll be abstaining from uh, approving the demands at this time. And that's just item B, right? Just B, yes. <laughs> okay, is there a motion to approve uh, item B? Is there a motion to approve item B? I move. Motion is made. I'll go ahead and second the motion. Any questions, comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? One abstention. One abstention. Okay, the, the ayes have it, two in favor, zero opposed, and one abstention. Thank you. And let's move on to um, item E. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Weller? Uh, yes, I, I personally did not receive any communications prior to the agenda. Uh, item coming out about this. It states that the board will select the physical officer, and so I, I have uh, questions. I did not see any legal uh, approval of this item on the agenda, and as I read through the statutes, there's quite a few responsibilities. So I had several questions um, that I wanted to bring forth at this point. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know who will respond to these. Mr. Winger? Uh, the, uh, is
is this first question would be uh, why would there not be a legal uh, review of this particular item? I guess we could ask. I thought there was. <clears throat> yes, thank you, uh, members of the board. I have reviewed this item briefly. I've also spoke with Mr. Whiting about it. Uh, it's one of those items that we've reviewed in the past and reviewed again. Uh, and simply for us, it's one of the annual items that come up. Uh, we've concluded that it is legal. Okay. Uh, Mr. Weller? I can understand that it probably is an annual item. I'm just not familiar with it yet, and there's a lot of responsibilities. Is this a paid position uh, in any way? No. It just goes along with you talking about uh, Ryan being appointed. He's not paid anything extra for this, are you, Ryan? I don't believe he is. I'm willing to negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's no extra pay. So. <laughs> There's a lot of responsibilities associated with this on separate accounts, and I don't know that I've seen all those accounts at this point. Uh, I will be looking for them, but uh, at the end of this, it says that uh, they're do we're doing this. This is a statute in accordance with fiscal policies and procedures established by the Board of Supervisors. Uh, on our site, I saw purchasing policy and uh, asset policy, but I don't know of any other fiscal policies we have which delineate the requirement to do these things. Uh, are there fiscal policies that I don't know about for the finance department? Well, I know uh, this has been ongoing since I've been in probation for 20 years, and the responsibility of the chief fund is just to have somebody, since we both have uh, county, some federal, and some state grant monies, I mean, the policy's been there in accordance with all these uh, the code of administration and, and the chief fiscal officer would be according to the county policy. That answers the question. I agree. I don't think this is a question for you to answer uh, necessarily. It's more of a county policy and procedures issue that uh, falls under uh, that unpaid position of chief fiscal officer, I presume. Uh, do we, Mr. Ryan uh, Patterson, do we have a written fiscal policy and procedure that establishes uh, the requirements that this statute requires. Mr. Patterson. Chair, members of the board, it's, it's good to stand before you. Um, yes, we do. In actuality, what we've done is we've gone through the State Auditor General's office sets, sets standards of what we should be complying with through the UMAC, um, it's a uniform county manual um, for, the, for, for the different counties and state. Um, each of our different positions has gone through that manual and has set procedures and policies within internally um, to comply with those. And so by in compliance with that, along with our audit review each year, um, in which the state auditor generally either themselves or assigns an accounting firm to come in, reviews those procedures and gives us updates on, on the performance. And, and go through that process on a yearly basis. So yes, we do comply with the state statutes okay, well, and fiscal policies. In the, but in this respect, it says established by the Board of Supervisors, which kind of indicates we should vote on it periodically or see what those are. So uh, I'm asking you to present those procedures to me at some time uh, in the near future. That's uh, fine. Uh, so that I can understand that. But uh, I, I'd like an interpretation established by the board from the county attorney's office. Uh, do we need to vote on that? Joe? Other than, excuse me, other than approving uh, Mr. Patterson as the chief fiscal officer, I don't think we need to approve anything else. Uh, you understand the, the section I'm calling you to, to read in the statute? This section is a section I've read. I have not <coughs> It's the last one. And I would have to further research in history, but I believe it's been approved. Um, I could be wrong as this started before my interactions with the county, but I believe it's all been approved by the board in the past years, and now the appointment's on the scene. Okay, well, I apologize for everybody for being new, but I haven't seen the, the, this, so I wanted to see it in writing to make sure we're following the statutes uh, appropriately, and, I, and along with reviewing those procedures with me that we may or may not need to vote on. I would like to see the report from last year that 